everybody, I'm back with another episode. This is the Board Game Man, and I'm really excited about this episode. Well, I'm excited about all episodes I do, but this one in particular, this is based off a very, very common card game that came out back in 1982. It's called Phase 10. Now, this is the card game that came out. You can find this anywhere. Target, Walmart, you name it, you can find it. I have done a previous episode on it. It was episode number 93. Um, I did back in September of 2020. Now, in this game, if you remember, you try to complete the phases as fast as you can, and who are all the other players that if they had any cards left over, they score points, and you don't want any points. So the least amount of points wins the game, and the first one to complete 10 phases wins. Well, let's uh, go into the future 11 years from when this came out. This was 1982. 11 years later, from Fundex Games once again, came out with a game we're going to look at today. It's the Phase 10 Dice Game. Now, in this game, you want points. You want as many points as you can. And in this game, it's the same 10 phases, identically 10, same 10 phases as the first one. But it's the dice that give you the scoring. You're going to roll three times, just like in Yahtzee. You roll three times. You try to get to complete your phase. And the dice will dictate how many points you get. Now, just like in Yahtzee, which I, I'm sorry I keep bringing up Yahtzee, but there's a lot of similarities when it comes to the scoring. In this game... After the first six, uh, first five phases, if you score over 220 points, you get a bonus of 40 points. Just like in Yahtzee, you have the one through six. If you score at least 63 or more, you get the 35-point bonus. Kind of the same similarity here. And also, if you are the first to complete all 10 phases, you get also get a bonus of 40 points. So let's head on over to the gamers table, because I can't wait to show you this uh, version of Phase 10. It is great. It has some good strategy involved. Because you're not just trying to complete the phase, but like I said, it's the dice that gives you the score. So let's head on over to the gamers table right now and let me show you phase 10 dice. All right, everybody, here we are at the gaming table. Let me go ahead and show you a phase 10 dice here. What you're going to do is you're going to open it up, and you're going to have 10 dice. Here they are. And they also have a W, which means the wild. So they have wilds on the dice as well. You will have the instruction booklet. That's right here. And then you also have the scoring pad, which looks just like this. Now, you can see it in the intro, I said. Um, you have the 10 phases here. After the first five, if you score... Over 220 points after the first five, you get a bonus 40 points. And also, if you're the first to finish all of your phases, then you also get a 40-point bonus. So let me go ahead and show you how this works. So you can see there's four players that you could fit on each pad. So let's go ahead and I'll do a quick little two-player, and I'll show you how this works. I'm going to put the box away, get that out of the way. Get my pen. You'll definitely need a pen or paper because you need to be able to write down the scores. So what you're going to do is you have up to three rolls to try to get the first phase. Now the object of this one is you're not just trying to go for the phases, but the numbers on the die represent how much score you're going to get. The wilds count as zero. Okay, so you might be able to finish the phase, but if you have a wild in there, you get no points for it. But all the other ones, you get the value of the die. That's how many points you get. So you get two sets of three. So let's see if we can get that. We have up to three rolls to get it. All right, so we have, we have a couple nine. Oh, that's a six and a nine. I'm sorry. Uh, there's a nine. We have a nine, double nine here. We do have a couple wilds. Uh, let's see here. That's pretty much all we have the same. So I'm going to go ahead and take out the two nines. Let's see if we can re-roll a second time. Let's see if we can get two sets of three. Let's see what we can do here. We've got another nine, so that's good. we got three nines. And, wow, I'm just not rolling very well at all, am I? Yikes. Uh, that's not going to do any good. So let's go ahead and do one more roll. See if we can get a set of three here to finish that off. We have... Um, let's see here. Well, we have a pair of ones and we have a wild. Okay. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do this. That way we get some kind of points for it. Or if you just want to pass and try to get next turn, you can. But for this instance, what we'll do is player one is going to have three nines and three ones. So what you're going to do is you're going to add up all the points 
on the dice. So for instance, we've got 27, 28, 29, the wild counts as zero. So player one will have 29 points for the two sets of three. So you go ahead and throw the 29 right in there for the two sets of three. And now player two is going to try their luck and see what they can do. So, okay, here we go. Let's see what player two can do here. Okay, so he's got, let's see, we've got a couple sixes. Put those here, that's a nine. And let's see, let's go ahead and roll again. I'm going to roll a second time. We've got a couple tens here, that's not bad. And let's go ahead and try to use one of the wilds, because that's 20 points right there, that's not too bad. And let's see, now we could use this wild here, but we have one more roll, so let's go ahead and see what we can get. Let's see if we can get another, at least another six in there. And nope, we didn't get, but we did get another wild, so we're going to go ahead and place this here. And this can complete your two sets of three. So in the, for instance, this is going to be 20, 26, 32 points. So player two would get 32 for two sets of three. So both players were able to complete the first one. Now you're going to have one set of three, one run of four. And you can see these are exactly the same as the card game. So let's see what we got here. One set of three and a run of four. Okay, so we have six, seven, eight. That's not bad. We can also use a wild if we wanted to. We got three, two couple wilds in here. We got a couple tens. So that'd be a set of three. That would be pretty good. So let's go ahead and take these two tens, place those there. Oh, we got another ten. I'm sorry, we got three tens. So that's perfect for that. So let's see if we can. We have two more rolls. Let's see if we can roll a five or a nine to complete the run of four. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Seven or nine. We got a wild in there, but you know what? We're gonna press our luck. We're gonna roll one more time. And ooh, we didn't get anything, but we can use that wild to go ahead and cover that run of four. So what you're going to do is you're going to add up all the points. It's 30, 38, 44, 51. So we're going to go 51 points for player one, and then so on. And then we're going to go ahead and we'll do this one last one here. So I think you pretty much get the gist of how this works. So you get player two. is going to go ahead and roll. And let's see. We've got, we're going, going for the same thing here. So we've got a couple fives here, and we got a couple tens. Now, do we have any runs? We got four. Well, we got four, five, six. Let's go ahead and put the four, five, six here. Let's put the two tens out there, like so. Now, let's see if we can do any. Oh, we got three here. There we go. So we can do three, four, five, six, and we can see if we can get another ten. That way, we don't lose a ten for a zero. So let's go ahead and do the second roll. Second roll. Oh, we got a 10. There we go. So I would like to finish that off right there. But you know what? You still have one more roll. So maybe we could try to roll seven and get rid of the three. That way we can get a few more points. Let's see if we can do that. Nope. No such luck. So we're going to go ahead and add up. Now, at least with this roll, he gets points for every single die because we have no wilds in there. So we've got 30, 36, 41, 45, 48 points for that. And so on. Okay, so 48. Now what's cool here is after you do the first two, it asks you to total it, which is nice. You don't have to total all the way down. So we're going to go ahead and total this. So in this case, he has 80. This has, oh my goodness, it's a tie. 80 to 80. <laughs> How do you like that? So at the end of the first two uh, phases, we got an 80-80 tie. Okay, and you're going to keep on going down all the way down, like I said. Whoever, if you have more than 220 points, you would go ahead and add the 40 points there. And then you do the five phase total right here. So you can add up all this along if you got the 40 points and you put it here. And you do the same for the last final four, uh, I'm sorry, five phases. And then you get the, four, the, the 40 points here if you're the first one to do all 10. And you do a grand total. Now, let me tell you what happens when you finish. So say I just finished my 10th phase and I put my grand total here. And let's just say player two was on phase seven. They were still on phase seven. It comes down to sudden death. So what happens is they have to be able to finish off a phase seven in order for them to continue. You do get the three rolls like you normally. It's not like one roll and you have to get it. In a term of three rolls, if they do not get the phase seven, then they would just add up the first six phases and that would be their final score. If, you, if they do end up getting the Phase 7, they would put the points in, and they would go towards Phase 8. You get three rolls and three rolls only, 
If you complete their phase eight, then you put the score down and you go to phase nine. But if they don't, the game's over. They add up all the points. And then whoever has the most points wins the game. And that's pretty much how you play phase 10 dice. So I see, I, that's what I love about this is there's a lot of strategy involved because you have to, okay, now I have a wild here. Do I want to try to get a, a number so I can get more points? And, and you know, you can, you can use all three rolls. So like I did in that last roll, let's see if I can get a seven. Maybe I can better that a little bit. That way I can get four more points if I take the three away and put a seven and so on. So I, I do like the strategy in this a little more than the card game. And I'm not saying any disrespect to the card game because the card game is incredible and I love it. But this is kind of cool because you actually, the, the, the amounts on the dice count for your points. And in this game, you want points, where in the card game, you don't want any points. So there, my friends, is Phase 10 Dice. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed Phase 10 Dice. <laughs>